Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craft Tastic, and I'm going to show you how I made these paper clip banners. All of these were made from scraps and from my stash and different little embellishments that I have in my stash. So I just pulled out a few. I want to make one that's black and white. So I just pulled out a few scraps that I have, and I'm just going to put something together with that. Then I also have a piece of vellum, just plain vellum. I have a piece of scrap printed vellum. And I think I'm just going to work with those pieces for now. Let's see, I have a piece of gold stripe paper. So I'm going to work with these pieces. And I also um, use for my sentiments, like this one is actually a die cut that I made myself. Um, this is one of the sentiments in the sticker sheet from Dollar Tree. So is this one. And then this is just a die cut from a metal die that I have in my stash. And then I also used a paper punch like for the hearts. The flowers are all from my stash. The pearls are in my stash. So it's just different little embellishments mixed with different um, papers. This ribbon was from my stash and I just tied the bow. So different little things like that that I just incorporate into the flag. So to start, I need to decide what I want my base to be. And I think I want to use this dotted paper as my base. I'm going to cut my base strip approximately one and a half to one quarter inch wide and then no taller than five inches so it just depends on how um, how long you want your banner so but I don't usually go over five inches and if it's scraps you kind of just go with the size of the scrap that you have at least that's what I do so I'm gonna I'm gonna do this one I'm going to go ahead and do five, five inches, a little short of five. Okay. So this is another reason to keep your smaller scraps because you can make embellishments like this and use them for a variety of different projects. So I'm just going to fold this in half. Then I'm going to take one of my gold paper clips, and you can use any paper clips you can use. Like I have these gold paper clips, which I get from Office Depot. They come like this. And let's see, I have some also that I get from Dollar Tree. They're like this. And really, I could probably use the white one for this one. Let's try the white one. Since I've done all of those in gold, let's try something different. Okay. Or just the no. We may try one in white. I'm gonna stick with the gold for now. Unless you're gonna make your clip, your banner clip double-sided, you need to decide what side of the paper you want it to slide on. So that determines which side is the front. So I'm sliding mine on, on the right side of the page. So I want the long end of the paper clip to be on the bottom and then this loop inside loop to be facing, pointing towards the left, if that makes any sense. So I'm just gonna slip my banner onto that long, longest edge of, continuous edge of the paper clip. So on the long continuous edge of the paper clip. I'm going to go ahead and cut my fishtail and to do that you can measure and just find the middle and I usually cut up in the middle in the center about a quarter of an inch or slightly less and then from each corner to that slit that I just made in the center and that gives you a nice fishtail so from the corner to the top of the slit. So that gives you a little fishtail 
look and then if you think this is too long you can cut it down and, and make your fishtail again it's really up to you <laughs> how you do that and then be okay like I said before I start gluing I want to kind of have a little of an offset so I'm going to glue this piece down on the inside so I can mark it with my pencil just a little bit so I know where to keep my glue within those lines and also it'll help me line it back up when I when I place it back in here let's see okay so I'm going to so I'm going to add my glue sparingly and this is the art glitter glue in the container with a fine tip let's make sure we have the right side so I'm just gonna line that up and I did get glue outside of where I wanted it to be Let's wipe that off so I'm still making sure that my front is my front. Now this one is a little longer than the ones I've made so far. I thought it, yeah, it's just a little bit longer. But again, it's really up to you. You can change the size, you can trim it down. Now I may want another piece peeking out of the other side. just to peek out on top or we can use a piece of the marble paper let's go for a piece of the marble too so I'm just going to trim a piece off down some but I don't really want it to be quite that big but I want a, the marbled area to show so I'm just gonna cut a small piece off and go ahead and do my fishtail and see how that looks I think I'll use that as the background for my sentiment. And then I'll take a piece of vellum. I don't want to use the gold paperclip vellum. I'm just going to use a regular piece of vellum. To add to it. top and offset it just a little bit let's trim that down a little so basically you just kind of play around with the pieces and until you get them the way you want them to look make sure you have them the way you want them before you glue them down for the vellum I'm just going to run a small thin line at the top and add that on the front where I want it to be now I'm going to go ahead and glue 
all of this down. And that's why I like the art glitter glue, by the way. It's very forgiving. So it, it seeps out. You don't get this shiny. Um, this shiny space where the glue, you know, where you can see where the glue was. It's very forgiving in that way. So, so far we haven't used the gold. Let's take the heart punch and punch out a couple of hearts in black paper. Oh wait, I have these die cut hearts that I had. I think I'm going to use that. Let's get the sentiments out. Because I've used so much black on this one, I'm definitely going to go ahead and incorporate some gold. And these are what I have left on this sheet. I'm not a fan of any of those. But I definitely want to cut this down. It's too wide. Let's, let's fish tail again. Let's adjust this down. There we go. And I might need to add a little glue to that. Oh. Let's try together forever. That's a little too big. Um, I really want to use whatever. <laughs> I really want to use this one. It's not very nice, but I just like the way it looks. So, that's what I'm going to do. Now, I think I want a flower cluster on here too, or at least one flower. So, let me see what I can find in my stash. Let's see, I have pulled out some flowers. I have these. Let's look at these. And this is what I did on one of the on the other one. I have this gold marker that they sold at Dollar Tree um, to write on the clear ornaments they had at Christmas. So I'm going to just go around the edges of this. Let's use this plastic. Just go around the edges to add a little gold accent to help tie it in with the rest of the project. So I just put a little gold accenting on the tips. And I'm not sure that's enough to make it stand out. Instead of going back and forth with this, I'm just going to go with this the way it is. So I'm going to go ahead and sometimes you just have to go ahead and commit. <laughs> so I'm just going to commit to this. And I'm going to place my heart on here. So I'm really not happy with how this looks. <laughs> so I'm going to try and do something to bring it out a little bit more. So what I did was go ahead and add the white flower with the gem onto the black flower. The camera had cut off on me so I didn't know. It wasn't recording that, but that was all I did. Now I am looking for something to add a little pop, possibly up here or down here. 
to, and I, I didn't, I don't like that edge showing there. So I just need a black piece of paper, scrap paper. And I'm gonna take my heart punch and punch out a heart. And then we're going to add that down here. So I'm going to add some stickles to the white heart. Now, since I have a plethora of Valentine's Day things out, I'm going to make one for Valentine's Day. I've got some die cuts from a sticker sheet that I found on Pinterest that might work. I'll use some of these. I think I'll use these. another piece of vellum. I like to incorporate the vellum. It kind of tones things down a little bit too. It just gives it a, a different texture. So this is where we are. I'm going to go ahead and glue this closed. Make sure I'm I have my clip positioned in the right direction. I'm going to add this piece on to the side. The offset. I don't want to put too much on this side. Okay. Add the vellum. and see about adding the twine. I'm gonna run a little glue across the top just to hold that twine in place on the front and the back. And I'll just wrap that around in layers. That's enough. Then I'm going to put a little glue to hold it in place. Pull it tight. Okay.
probably should use hot glue for this but my hot glue gun is not heated up right now so you might want to think about that if you use the twine Okay, I'm going to glue that right there. Oops. Let's make sure we get enough glue on the top to hold it in place. Then I'm going to take some foam squares that are from Dollar Tree and apply to the back of this label. Let's see which color do I definitely don't want to use the yellow. I'm gonna stick with one of these. So I'm gonna stick that there. Put one more square to make sure that it's good and sturdy. I'll have one that's half a square right here. So let's glue another heart on here. Okay. I think I'm going to do beautiful. Instead of love, I'm just going to do beautiful. And I'm going to have to take this off. Yeah, making a mess. So now that I've got my layers straight, I'm going to add some pearls and I think that's going to be it for this one. So I'm going to add one up here, a couple down here. I think I'm going to add one more heart down there. So that's it. That's how I make the paperclip banner flags. And then I just can clip them on to a piece of paper. Once everything is dry, I'm going to let these dry and then I'm just going to add them to my collection. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.